Welcome to our electron line. Now we have a different set of three charges. The middle charge is now negative while the two outside charges are positive. The magnitudes are still the same, q, 2q, and 3q, but this is a negative 2q charge for the middle one. And now we're trying to find the force on the third charge, q3, due to the presence of these two charges right here. How do we manage it this time? Well, we have to realize that when the charges are opposite, they attract, and when they're the same, they repel. So when we draw this graphically, first of all, the charge between 1 and 3, it's going to be a force of repulsion, so therefore, we have a force pushing to the right due to the presence of Q1. So this here represents the force between 1 and 3, and it's, a, it's in a positive direction. It's relatively small because they're farther apart, and Q1 is relatively small. Now the force between 2 and 3, or better yet, the force on the third charge due to the presence of the second charge, that's a force of attraction. So this charge is being pulled to the left due to the presence of this charge, and it's going to be a much larger force because they're closer, and this is a larger quantity, and so this would be the force between 2 and 3, and it'll be to the left. You can then see when we do a vector sum, the one to the left will be larger than the one to the right, and the total will then be in this direction, force total, due to the presence of the other two charges. And that's what we're trying to find, the force on the third, because of the presence of the first and the second charge. So what we're doing first is we're trying to find the magnitude of F13 and the magnitude of F23. So first we take in the magnitude of F13, that would be equal to K times Q1, Q3 divided by the distance between them squared. So in this case that's equal to K, Q1, well, that's equal to Q, and Q3, well, that's equal to 3Q. And the distance between them is, let's see here, that's 2D. We have to square that, so the magnitude of that would be 3KQ squared divided by 4D squared. Now the magnitude between, of the force between the second and the third charge. So here we have the force between 2 and 3, which is equal to K, times Q2, times Q3, divided by the distance between them squared. Now here, you might be surprised. So here we have K times Q2. Now even though Q2 is a negative charge, we're not going to put down negative 2Q. We're simply finding the magnitude of the force, and so the negative signs don't matter, so we're going to write 2q because we only care about the magnitude times q3 which is a positive 3q and then we divide that by d squared because the distance between those two is simply d and so this becomes equal to 6kq squared divided by d squared now we're ready to add those two together vectorially so now we can say that the total force is equal to the sum of the two forces, that will be equal to F23 plus F13. And again, you might describe, well, wait a minute, isn't 2, 3 pointing to the left side? And yes, it is, but that will take care of itself. Here, we're simply adding two vectors together regardless of where they're pointing. Once we plug in what these are equal to, then we worry about the negative sign. So F total is equal to since F23 is pointing the left side, here's the magnitude between F23, but it's in the negative direction, so we write negative 6kq squared divided by d squared, and of course we have to indicate the direction, so we have the unit vector x, and then we add to that, because that's pointing to the right, plus, and it's 3 quarters, k q squared over d squared in the x direction, so that would be positive, and now when we add them together, that's 24 fourths minus 3 fourths, which is 21 fourths. So F total is equal to minus, because the total is in the negative direction, 21 over 4 KQ squared over D squared. That should be a D right here. Let me try that again. D squared like this. And in the X direction, we need the unit vector. And there's the final result for the total force on the third charge due to the presence of the other two.
and that's how it's done.